Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make these mini apple pies as well as this caramel apple cider drink. Super easy to make and it's delicious. So if you want to learn how to make this, then just keep on watching. The ingredients you're going to need for this apple pie are three apples, mine's are Gala Swiss apples, one egg, three tablespoons of lemon juice, one third cups of brown and regular sugar, one tablespoon of ground cinnamon, one third cup of flour, a generous dash of nutmeg, two tablespoons of butter, four porcelain bowls, I got mine's at Bed Bath & Beyond. We'll also need two empty bowls, as well as two boxes of pie crust, and then that is all you're gonna need for this apple pie recipe. The first thing I'm going to do is actually just wash my apples, making sure that they are nice and clean. Then with my peeler, I'm just going to peel away the skin from all three apples. After I'm done with that, I'm going to slice my apples with my apple slicer here and then chop them up into smaller pieces so that they can fit much nicer inside of my bowls. Now that I'm done chopping on my apples, I'm going to just leave those on the side. And next what I'm doing is just mixing all of my dry ingredients inside of one of the bigger bowls and mix it all together so that it's all consistent and mixed very well. Going back to my apples, I'm going to grab those two tablespoons of softened butter. I did leave it out so it's nice and soft now. I'm going to add the lemon juice as well as my egg. Mix it all in and then mix the dry ingredients right on top. Now that my apple filling is done, I'm just going to move that guy on the side and now we are going to play with our pie crust. I'm just going to wipe away my countertop to make sure it is clean. And now I'm just going to dirty it again with some flour. I know that makes no sense, but I'd rather just make sure there's nothing gross on it. So I'm just going to add this flour right on top and then I'm going to roll out my pie dough and start making the pie crust. So the way that I made the pie crust was just grab my porcelain bowl, make a circle into the pie crust, and with that circle, I press it inside the bowl, and any excess dough that was left around, I kind of just build it up on the side, and now I'm just going to continue this step with the rest of the bowls. Now that I'm done with the inner part of the pie crust, I'm going to grab my apple pie filling and just stock all these bowls up. Before I stop the top layer of my apple pie crust, I'm going to just put my oven to 400 degrees. Next, with a fresh layer of apple pie dough, I'm just going to make these straight lines so that I can put those right on top of my apple pie. And now I'm just going to layer these right on top like a classic apple pie.
Now that my oven is ready, I'm just gonna pop these in. Don't mind my dinner. I was also cooking while I was filming this video. Now we are gonna move on to the apple cider drink. What you're gonna need is apple cider, caramel syrup, some ground cinnamon, and some whipped cream. Once you are done cooking your apple cider, you are going to just pour it into a mug. Mine's is this cute little fox one that I have, and it reminds me so much of fall. So I'm just gonna pour in my apple cider. Then I'm just going to grab very little bit of caramel. I use like the cap as a measuring. And then I'm just going to stir it in. Afterwards, I'm just gonna add my whipped cream and some ground cinnamon on top, and voila, that is it, and it's delicious. My apple pies are now finished and this is what they look like afterwards. They were so delicious. I love this recipe. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys liked this video. Give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. If you guys recreate these treats, share them with me on Instagram because I would love to see them. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!